Well, good morning and welcome to the Clean Shield Kitchen. We're here today to talk about our Clean Shield Cab Liner, our flagship product, product um, which is uh, protects your cab liner so it doesn't get all yucky and messed up. I'm going to utilize a number of different products to throw on the shield exactly the way they get thrown on your cab shields when you empty your dumpsters with all the garbage juice that runs out. But I'm going to use some common products that you use on your trucks, you see around your trucks, and regularly come out uh, of those dumpsters. So today I'm going to utilize a little motor oil, which obviously is something that frequently rolls on out of there. I'm going to use a little automatic transmission fluid. I'm going to use a little hydraulic fluid. And a little brake fluid all common items that people throw in dumpsters and you also use on your trucks to maintain them. I'm also going to use a little battery acid which will destroy most things but not our clean shield. And finally we're going to use just a regular sharpie marker and a paint pen mainly because it's easier and simpler for me to do than a spray can. So let's see what we can do to our shield to treat it in an accelerated way, the way you are and your customers are gonna treat your trucks. So starting, I think, with uh, maybe a little brake fluid here. So what I thought I would do is just mark these up a little bit. This is our permanent magic marker, a Sharpie, the famous Sharpie. And we've also got a paint pen. So this is a permanent paint that is designed to stay on and not come off. Woo! But let's go ahead and take a look at some of these other chemicals and because they cause a lot of damage to your vehicles. We've got just a little oil here. Mess that up pretty good. And then we got a little automatic transmission fluid too because that's always nasty. And you can imagine this stuff gets falls out of your dumpster. It's got a little hydraulic oil there, a little fluid. And then the PS de resistance, a little sulfuric acid or battery acid. Do not do this without gloves. Little acid there. Ooh, that's nasty. So now that we've messed up our shield exactly the way your customers will mess up your shields or mess up the sides of your automatic side loader where you tip the, the dumpster over or the airborne and environmental pollutants will mess up your decals around the truck. All of them are susceptible to what we're seeing here, particularly in the refuse industry. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna let this marinate for a while. Uh, we'll go about our business and we'll return this afternoon and see if any of this actually comes off. Well, we're back. We uh, threw all our uh, fluids and acids and markers on this this morning. We've let it marinate through the day. And uh, now that it's dry and ready to go, let's see about cleaning it off a little bit. But first, I want to show you a few things. Both of these surfaces started out as very glossy and bright and white. When we go to clean them, you'll notice that there'll be a difference and a change between the two. But I'd like to point out already from the acids, we're seeing the paint start to bubble up. This is a normal occurrence that you'll see on your cab shields. It first starts bubbling up, then it starts rusting, and the next thing you know, it looks like a big pile of rust. Whereas on the clean shield side, that's not gonna happen. So what I have here is just some citrus orange uh, cleaner. It's non-toxic, biodegradable, and won't stink up the house like all of these fluids have. So, let's spray a little bit of this on here. And 
see how well we can clean this. So the first thing that you'll notice is obviously the marker, the paint are embedded into the, the metal shield already as it will be on your trucks. Additionally, and it's a little bit harder to tell in the uh, video here, but the gloss finish is dulled significantly, and then of course you're seeing the bubbling of the paint that comes up there. So now let's come on over to our clean shield protected side. And as we can see, everything just comes off. But also, what I'd like to point out is that not only is all the nasty junk coming off, but the clean shield is still bright, shiny, and new looking. And as a matter of fact, if I were to bring somebody back here, they would assume that we never did anything to the clean shield side and only messed up the unprotected side. But with Clean Shield, as you'll notice, your brand and your truck stay looking new for years and years and years. That is the secret of our brand armor polymer protecting your truck. That goes for your Clean Shields, that goes for your Clean Cabs to protect your cabs, and it goes for your Clean Decals, which are your branding stickers all around your truck. All of them protected with our Brand Armor Polymer. All of them will stand up to the abuse that they're going to get and make sure your brand looks great.